It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Goose Island Beer Company and it's a collaboration with Aldi Supermarkets. And this is Goose on the Loose. It's a 5% ABV India Pale Lager. 330 milliliter can, cost me £1.20. Quite like the idea of this, the fact that Goose Island, which back in the day they, they were, when I was drinking their beer first and foremost, when I first started the channel, um, the, the, the review of Goose Island IPA and some of the other beers that I had from Goose Island were all from an independent company. They weren't owned by a large company now, which they are today. I mean, I've, I've, I've been reviewing beer for 12 years. So in that 12 years, they've been bought out by a large company. Things have changed. Things have changed at a much larger company now. Hence them brewing beers now for, for Aldi. So, I mean, 12 years ago, as an independent company, I'd be very excited to open this and see what Goose Island have come up with here with Aldi. Uh, with this one... There's a little bit of trepidation. There's a little bit of, um, is it going to be any good? Because Aldi's craft beer so far has been a bit checkered. It's not been great. It really hasn't been great at all, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. And Goose Island, I know the IPA is not the same. It's not the same IPA that I was drinking 12 years ago. It's a much different beer. More big beer now. Anyway, let's get this out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. You've got to try, you've got to try and be, you've got to try and go into this with a positive mindset. Um, I always try and go into a beer review with a positive mindset. I just wanted to give you a little bit of history. I just wanted to give you the reason why I'm going into this with a slight bit of trepidation. <clears throat> We got a one to two finger white head, uh, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. It's slightly hazy, it's amber in colour. So what am I expecting from India Pale Lager? I'm expecting quite a dry, bitter beer, crisp, refreshing, but with some hops with some maybe some grapefruit, orange peel, tangerine, some maybe some soft, lovely hoppy aromas and flavours coming through. I do generally like India Pale Lager. It's a very good style of beer. Let's, let's dive into this one. Cheers. On the nose. Smells okay. Yeah, it smells, it, it smells perfectly acceptable on the nose. <clears throat> little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of that orange peel as I was hoping for. A little bit of lemon, spicy, peppery. <clears throat> it smells okay. It really does. It smells okay. This. Let's get in. Cheers, everybody. I like it. I like it. Finally, finally, something from Aldi. A craft beer from Aldi that, I, that puts a smile on my face. It's decent. It's decent. It's got a little, very small... Banana estery taste to it. It's spicy, it's peppery, there's a little bit of lemon in there. It's nice and hoppy. 
definitely got that kind of good lager quality. It's good. It's good. Oh my goodness me, how long has this taken for Aldi? I'm really pleased, really pleased for this. Um, they've been brewing some shockers. Uh, over the last three years, they've been brewing some shocking craft beer. And I've been banging on about how good their Rhinebeck of Pilsner was back in the day. Their, their Vice beer. Now, I've just come back from a holiday, a little mini break in Salisbury, where my brother-in-law lives. He actually lives next door to Aldi. So I actually picked this up in Salisbury's Aldi. If you know where that is, you... Well, yeah, I'm just giving his address. <laughs> he lives He lives next door to Aldi. So it's a, it's a minute's walk for us. Um, so we went in there and I bought a load of ice beer. I bought maybe 12 bottles of Aldi's Rhinebeck of ice beer, put them in the fridge. We went out for the day, come back, and it went down an absolute treat. Aldi really know how to brew quite a decent, and they're... 19 something project that's that's a pretty good lager as well they know to brew a decent lager they know to brew a decent vice beer but their their craft beers they've all been done by it's all been done on a cheap done on the cheap and they've been awful even the like the, the queen's jubilee beer that was released in the summer was it was it was almost the last straw for me so you can imagine then when i walk into this salisbury aldi while i'm there and I see this is right by the front door, big, big kind of basket full of these cans. And I thought, well, I'm going to give this a go. Goose Island. They used to be a fantastic company. They still make terrific Goose Island Bourbon County Stout. That's still one of the most sought after beers in the world, even though they're owned by a big company now. <clears throat> But it, it is, it does exactly what it says on the front of the tin here. It's, it's refreshing and fruity. If ever I went into Aldi going forward and they didn't have any Pilsner for whatever reason or if they didn't have any Vice beer and they only had like a big basket of these, I'd quite happily, for £1.20 a can, I would quite happily pick up 12 cans of this and put them in the fridge and have a good time with friends and family. No off flavours whatsoever. It's clean, it's crispy, it's refreshing, it's nicely carbonated, there's a nice balance to it between that little bit of sweetness to begin with, that little bit of Fantastic bitterness from the hops on the back end. Talking about the hops, grapefruit, orange peel, some some juicy orange flavours coming through from the hops in the beer. I'm very impressed with this. Very impressed with this. I just hope, I just hope now that going forward, this is the future for Aldi. This is the future to produce... Decent craft beer at a decent price point. Not cheap craft beer that tastes blooming awful. There's no point in doing that. There's no point in trying to... Because the, the comments that come through on my channel, whenever I review a La, a, an Aldi craft beer, apart from this one, of course, the comments coming through said, uh, given up. The comments are that people have just generally given up on, on Aldi's craft beer. They're just not interested in even giving it the remotest go anymore. But if you are watching this video, the people who have given up on Aldi's craft beer, then maybe reconsider with this India Pale Lager. It's not the greatest India Pale Lager I've ever tried, but for an Aldi craft beer, it's pretty decent. <clears throat> Goose is on the loose discovering new worlds of flavour um, for a pine forest paradise and beach full of peach to a home in Aldi's Middle Isle this golden IPA IPL sorry mixes it all to create a crisp fruity lager with the hoppy taste of an IPA 
Dry out with mosaic, cascade and amarillo hops for a peachy pine aroma with a hint of malty biscuit and a refreshing finish. It, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely decent, that. Uh, it's brewed by Imbev, Belgian. It's actually brewed in Brussels, I believe it says. Brewed by Imbev, Belgium. Yeah, so you're drinking Belgian. Belgian IPA here. I mean, what's not to like? I like that. I think it's terrific value for money. It's a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.